What is up guys, Delboy here. So, Alexander Povetkin versus David Price has been made. It's official for the undercard of Anthony Joshua versus Joseph Parker. And I've got to be completely honest, I'm looking forward to it. We all know David Price brings a lot of excitement. He's extremely vulnerable. His chin is very questionable. His defense is porous. His stamina is not the best, but he's a big old lump and he's got a lot of power. He's an exciting fighter. And we all know about Alexander Povetkin. Technically very good. Um, a compact heavyweight. Good counter puncher. Um, you know, good punch variety. He's a really good fighter and he can punch himself. Stylistically, it should gel quite well. And it could be a shootout. I'm looking forward to it. Now, a lot of people in the UK are saying that Eddie Hearn should not have made this match. That it's a mismatch. That it's a, da uh, it's a danger to David Price's health. I've already kind of explained my position on that. My position is that David Price is a grown man. He's a he's a guy who has a boxing license. He is of sound mind. He is free to make his own choices in life. You know, whether that choice is good, bad or indifferent, he is free to make his own choices. And I feel uncomfortable with saying, "Oh no, do you know what?" David, you can't earn your money against uh, by fighting Alexander Povetkin because it's too dangerous for you. Let David Price earn his money. Let David Price make his own choices. And that's all I've got to say about it. Would I rather... Now, now, is that me saying this is a great fight? No, it's not. But what I'm saying is, let people make their own choices. So let's stop falling into this nanny state culture, this PC you know, ultra PC sort of culture we live in. Just let people make their own choices. You know, like I said, I'm not even, I'm not claiming this to be a 50-50 fight. I think it is a mismatch, but let's be honest, it's a fun mismatch. Because either Povetkin's going to knock David Price out cold, or there is scope for the unthinkable to happen. David Price cracks extremely hard. If Povetkin sort of steps in a bit too far, uh, a bit too reckless, who knows? Let David Price have his lottery ticket, because if David Price finds that right hand from nowhere and knocks out Alexander Povetkin, his life changes forever, he gets that Anthony Joshua fight, and regardless of what happens from there, he can retire without working again. And for people to say we should take that away from David Price, I've got a big, big problem with that. I've got more of an issue with that than actually David Price potentially getting hurt, because that sounds bad, I know, but... But the reality is, let David take the risk. Because if it, if it actually pulls off and he, and he somehow pulls it off, he, he's going to prove everyone wrong. And for, for, him, for you to take that sort of slight chance away from him, to me, is wrong. So I'm, I've got no issue with a fight being made. Do I think it's a mismatch? Yes. Would I rather see David Price in with somebody more along his level, like a Chisora? Yeah, probably I would actually, but it is what it is, you know. I mean, I wonder if these same people who say this is a mismatch will say the same for Tyson Fury versus somebody like Shannon Briggs or Antonio Tarver. Antonio Tarver is 49 years old, you know, ex-light heavyweight, going, going up against the so-called lineal heavyweight champion, and you're cool with that? Yeah, come on now. And, and Shannon Briggs. Shannon Briggs is, what, 46 years old? Guy has asthma trouble. And he's fighting the lineal heavyweight champion. Again, I have no issues with these fights. But don't don't actually turn around and sort of say these fights are okay. And then in the same breath say Povetkin Price is bad. Because to me, there's more scope for Shannon Briggs getting seriously hurt than David Price against Povetkin. There's more scope... For Shannon Briggs to get hurt against Tyson Fury, as far as I'm concerned. Do we forget what happened against Vitaly Klitschko? And that was, what, nearly a decade ago now? And Shannon Briggs was past his best then? Come on now, let's, let's just put it in perspective. And again, I'm not saying it's not a mismatch, but let's, it is what it is, man. Uh, Povetkin is a mandatory challenger. He needs to stay busy. Why not fight David Price on the undercard of Anthony Joshua... To build your name up in front of a casual uh, in front of a casual audience, get a big knockout. It makes that Joshua fight that bit bigger. Why not do that? And from Eddie Hearn's perspective, like I said, 
if Povetkin wins by KO, which we all think he will, then Povetkin, like I said, gets over to the UK fans and people become familiar with who he is. And if the unthinkable happens, you've got a domestic fight between Joshua and Price. It's a it's a win win for Eddie Hearn. It's a win win for everybody involved. You know, everyone has something to gain here. You know, Price has a good payday, I'm sure. And if he wins, his life changes. Povetkin winning winning the fight also might actually increase his payday against Joshua. And yeah, it, it is what it is, man. Everyone everyone wins, so I've got no issue with it. The fight itself, like I said, I expect Povetkin to win this fight easily. David Price to me is a guy who the aura is gone and that was a big part of his game early on. He was this big knockout artist who was apparently the heir to Klitschko's throne. He got stopped and his confidence never never sort of uh, rebounded. He could never really string some good wins together and get over those uh, Tony Thompson defeats. And since then he lost to Erkin Tepper and he obviously lost to uh, Christian Hammer. And he does fight like a fighter who has no confidence. And defensively, he is poor. His stamina isn't great. His chin is poor. But he does have power. So he has got the minute chance of pulling off the upset here. Um, you know, like I said, it, it is what it is, man. Um, I'd expect Povetkin to win this fight relatively easily. He should get him out of there in two or three, two or three rounds. Povetkin, to me, is just too compact. He likes to stay squat. He's got a lovely right hand. I can see Povetkin countering a, a David Price jab. You know David Price, he's a big old lump, but he doesn't really throw that jab out of there with any conviction. And, we, and him doing that against Povetkin will get him knocked out. You know, Povetkin's going to come over that jab with that lovely timed right hand. It's going to uh, it's going to connect on that David Price chin, and Price is going to be out for the count. I think Povetkin's going to stop David Price in three rounds by right hands, and that's all she wrote. Um, mismatch, yes. Entertaining mismatch, yes. We all love watching David Price fight, regardless of what you say. It is what it is, man. Peace.